to uh, Brad Lamb joining us, addiction specialist and founder of Breathe. It is a life healing center. Also with us, Mason Tubert, communications director of the Marijuana Policy Project. All right, Mason Tubert, let's first ask you, what is the Marijuana Policy Project? What is that? And do you get paid by them? Well, yeah, that's my job. Our goal is to end marijuana prohibition and replace it with a system where marijuana is regulated and taxed and treated similarly to alcohol. It's a system that a majority of Americans now think would be a much preferable system to the one that we have. Okay, and again, in a nutshell, if you could, you think marijuana should be legalized because why? I mean, you do know it's addictive, highly addictive, right? Well, marijuana's addictive properties have been found to be actually pretty mild compared to not only alcohol and tobacco, but even caffeine. So, you know, well, sir, the question is this. So do we are you really admitting need to be that it is addictive? Adults, Nancy? You do admit uh, that yeah, it's so addictive. Yeah, so is sex, so are video games. The, the thing is, is that well, you just I, I you do not with like you. the people that I, use marijuana. I disagree with you. You just I don't completely... like people who use marijuana and you want no, to see them that's punished. Not it. But the fact no, is actually, that they're normal people just like you. They enjoy using marijuana for the same reasons people like having a drink after work, and they shouldn't be made criminals for it. Um, actually, Brad Lamb, the reason I'm against the legalization of pot is because I've seen too many felonies. And I don't mean pot sales or growing pot like this guy up in Connecticut. I mean people on pot that shoot each other, the, that the, stab the, the each other, lives, the strangle each brains, other, the drive families. under the influence, kill families, wipe out a whole family. The first time you I ever had a pot case. You sound case, like you're from the this, 1930s. This female no, 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 stopped. But, but I have to. Uh, hold on, Brad. Nate. The first time I ever came in co the first case, it was a plea, and there was this gorgeous lady standing in the middle of the courtroom crying. And I didn't understand. I said, well, what is this case? Somebody else was taking a plea, and they said she's a stockbroker. She got addicted to pot. She ended up losing her job, uh, wrecked her car, couldn't make the house payments on her house. So she, her husband got custody of the children. So now she has no car, no house, no family, nothing. And the, the, the advocates for pot, uh, to, to your point, uh, sir, uh, that's advocating pot, uh, is they're th so thin-skinned. On one hand, they're saying, hey, it's no big deal. It's not as addictive as alcohol or meth. It doesn't wreck as many lives. And then I have all these moms over here with whom I work, and on Twitter, Nancy, who have said, you know, this has wiped out our family. This has caused a lot of pain and suffering in the lives of our loved ones. So, so the, uh, one, the pot advocates have terribly thin skin, and I think there's really the pot, pot, pot profit motive that he's really advocating for more than anything. Brad, let me and, ask you a and, question. And pot does wreck a lot of Sir, lives. I work for a nonprofit organization. You're a treatment specialist who gets paid because people get referred to treatment when they get arrested for marijuana. I mean, this when is they're absolutely because there's no evidence marijuana. that marijuana leads to Whoa. violent, aggressive behavior. When they're behavior. addicted. Do you let know, me but, correct but you. Yeah, nine yeah. percent uh, according to the addicted. Institute of Medicine. Okay, the, according to the I mean, Institute a, of Medicine, but a, but a about 9% of people who try marijuana become addictive. Compared the, to the moral or ethical core of the work you do, sir. You know, just because you have a nonprofit doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't if you mean that you're doing meaningful work. Anybody can have a nonprofit. Sir, give me a break. Come on. The fact is that a majority of Americans are on my side because your side look, cannot come up with a legitimate look, argument look, look, I, for I'm why we should keep criminalizing, criminalizing pot, adults but if your for using less harmful substances than alcohol. not as bad as meth or alcohol. That's a ridiculous uh, Do you drink, sir? Do you consume alcohol? No, I, I do don't. you consume alcohol? I'm, I've been clean and sober for 11 you years. You don't. You never don't. drink. You don't hang out with people who drink. You've got you you absolutely I, are so, I, sober. I do well, hang, you are I one do of hang the 10% of drink. Americans like that. Well, do you think you know that well, I'm a I guess that makes addiction. you and me complete space aliens because the last thing I want is for the children, uh, my twins to see me boozing it up. I mean, when my impaired, husband drinks being a diet bad parent, coke, Brad, I make him put it in an opaque plastic cup. I don't even want them to see him having soda, okay? If they want to make the, those the, decisions the when they're 18, that's their skin. decision. Yeah, you know, you do have thin okay. skin, Mason. Uh, isn't Mason. Credulous. 
you, you seem like you, I, you can't I, believe somebody can live without drinking a beer. I'm perfectly thick if you can see me you can tell. I mean, the thing is, you guys are spewing these these claims from the 1920s and 30s that have been debunked by the no, largest I, health and science organizations no, but in Mason, the world. But, but the Mason, World Health Organization, lie. the Institute the of Medicine, Institute disagree with you. Has a study. That oh, is which a is the most study, politicized and it, and it, federal okay, agency cut, around. Cut Mason's mic because I can't break and get a word in. It talks that pot is less addictive than meth and alcohol, less addictive than nicotine. But for those who it has a profound negative effect, it screws their life up, Mason, and addiction does result with folks okay, that you know, get Brad, addicted I, to pot. Brad, I normally agree with you, but I think you and Mason, where's Mason? Where's Brad? I think you're Mason both. Went away. I think you're both missing my point and that point is you seem to be offering me only a life where I've got to be drinking booze or I've got to be smoking or I've got to be high on pot and you know what I really think I really think there's a different way to live